Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Hunter's Dream here in Bloodborne. Last time on the game, we were involuntarily thrust into this nightmarish hellscape with absolutely no direction, and it is of quite the maniacal design that we find ourselves here. And of course, leave it to me to forget that you actually do need one level of insight before you can level up. I thought it was just so long as you come back to this place a certain number of times, you'd be good, but nope. Getting insight requires either finding slash defeating bosses, uh, doing chalice dungeons, or otherwise using madman's knowledge, which we have not yet found, unfortunately. But our visit here will not be in vain because we can level our weapon up by one. Hurrah! Eventually, we could also do, you know, your blunderbuss, but since we're not focusing on a, you know, blood tinge build, it's not really going to be necessary, but... Keep in mind that fortifying a weapon does indeed repair it, so that's also a nice little thing that we can do about it, and until we can find a specific tool, we won't be able to use our bloodstone thing that we found on that executioner. An incredibly rare drop. <laughs> um, so let's go and take care of some business in Central Yarnum before taking on the first but optional boss. This isn't necessarily going to be something that's required, but I would like to get it out of the way. We were running a bit low on time, and I probably would have doubled back for it, you know, at the end of the last part, but it's fine. We'll be okay. Oof, not getting me this time, friendo. Ooh, one hit. All right, like that. But we are going to make our way back to that square where the uh, troll was banging on the door, and I guess we can probably just try to sprint through it. This is where your uh, sprint management is probably going to come through. Or stamina, I should say. Hello, fellas. It's good to see you all. I'll go this way. Oh my god, he shot me in the ankle. Man, seriously? That's fine. We'll be okay. Let's leave you to your own devices there, I suppose. Yeesh. I was going to say he's a pretty good shot, but I should say almost go ahead and, you know, die anyways. Okay, I think will be fine here, but I'm going to go and grab some extra ammo just in case. And let's take him on again, because like I said, he will wander towards us and be incredibly annoying. Alright, Brick Dude. Whoop! Not today. Oh, So viscerally. Oof. Alright, well, I almost thought I missed that. Glad I did not. Now, a number of things that we kind of skipped here because jumping off that ledge, we can't get back up. But we have our first instance of carry-on crows, and these guys are really annoying because they're loud as hell and you miss them because of where they are on the ground. Seriously? Thank you. They have a tendency to drop pebbles, but occasionally you'll find an antidote on them. And there we go, oil urn. Perfect. Also, do you hear that? Sounds like a music box. Huh. Well, alrighty then. Let's go ahead and actually, uh, you know, I think we'll find for now. The oil urn, when you throw it at an enemy, they will be much more susceptible to attacks, uh, you know, that are imbued with flames. So that's definitely something you want to look forward to. But there's going to be a horde of enemies. More cold blood dew. And I kind of want to get them a little separated from each other. It's not fun fighting hordes of enemies, because then they'll just gang up on you, and it's not a good time. Uh-oh. There you are. Got a little rabid doggo over here. Oh, there they come. So, you want to play the, the fence game? Oh my god, our timing is going to be so off. Please don't alert the horde. There you go. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Yeah, dogs will stagger you like nobody's business. There we go. Keep them nice and... Oh my god, I thought I was going to get both of you. Not today. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now for your friend. Sorry. Please don't go John Wick on me. Oh, please. Come on. There we go. Is that it? There's one more dog. I'm sorry. I always feel so bad, but they're rabid. They were beyond gone. They're diseased and... A lot of blood vials. Apparently, must really need those. Okay, so we can come up here, and this will be a bit of a familiar scene. 
You remember when I said that if we had to take a left at the bridge, we would find ourselves at the boss? Well, we're at the other end of the bridge, and there's the two scourge beasts that you can just run past so that you can, you know, make life easier for yourself. But they'll usually try to track you down, and uh, it's a real painful business fighting two of them, so I'm not even going to bother not until I'm at least, you know, level 11. Another bloodstone shard? We're going to need increasing amounts of bloodstone shards and twin bloodstones, blood, uh, what are they, blood chunks, before we can fully level it up to 10, but that's where we came from, and this is where I want to go. Without aggroing them, if at all possible. Good stuff. Is there anyone over here? Maybe not. So now we can overlook the little square here where they're burning the martyr of the monster. Throw some pebbles from up here. But man, it's something about From Software games where there is like this connection between areas you've been to and uh, areas you will be to at some point. English is my favorite language, guys. Yeah, that guy somehow saw me. He's like, stop looking at our terrible frame rates, please, for the love of God. We haven't gotten a remaster yet, and the game has been out for almost 10 years. But man, three bloodstone shards already. That's great. Now, if you're not careful, you might find yourself dropping down here. And it's not very fun because, uh, ooh, we're gonna start fighting some uh, larger huntsmen, some that have succumbed to the darkness, and... They can hurt, and whatever you do, don't fall into the sewer just yet. Okay, luckily uh, their move sets are pretty respectable, easy to read. It's just make sure you keep them separated. Stop it! We're we're a bit stronger than we have any reason to be. I thought someone else was trying to attack me. Was there? There was another guy here. He has a spear. What's up with that? That's not cool. All right, let's see if we can get a, a visceral attack on this guy. Although I really don't like how they're both walking at the same time. If one of them sees me fighting the other, he'll join in. Oh, puppy guard me. Oh my god, I was not locking on. It's the terrors of not having HUD. All right, there we go. That was just my mistake. Also, iframes, fun. Yeah, normally there's a little dot to indicate you're locked on, but sometimes, uh, obviously, HUD's off, so <laughs> kind of missed it. Also, breaking the line of sight gets you out of it. Oh my god. I have a feeling this guy will hurt. Please. Thank you. I'm begging you. Also, rats. I absolutely detest rats this early on because they can like gnaw at you like three or four times and then you're dead because you're staggered. And I just don't like dealing with them if I don't have to. Unfortunately, this is one of those situations where I can't really avoid them if I want to grab the stuff. I do usually want to grab the stuff. Okay, so that's it for up here. There is something that we have to walk on a tiny plank to get. But I do want to take care of, uh, you know, the old rats downstairs first, if at all possible. This is where you might want to go ahead and use a Molotov or something. Maybe keep some distance. But let's see, who gets aggroed by this? Probably all will be. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, they're like easy enough to read, but... Oh, shit! Oof. Oh, that's not good. What? What are you doing? Stop attacking! <laughs> okay. Are you... Oh my god, they're coming. They're coming in droves. Or maybe not. They're just somewhat inherently aware of me. At least those two are. Um, they're like, all right, well, I think that's fine. Yeah, this is not good. I'll just stick with this. <sighs> oh, shit. Stay back. Get back, you damn rats. Oh, flame on. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> There's just like a horde of just dead rat bodies trying to follow me. Oh man, yeah, early on, these guys, these guys are rough. Okay, and a throwing knife, good. Those can actually kind of help take them apart, like from afar. Is that it? Is that all of them? I could have, oh, nope, one more. He was waiting, waiting in the wings. All right, 
I'm gonna be like moderately careful here. There we go. Okay, so it's just you, right? That's all we gotta worry about. I don't think I can like stun you. Yeah, I can't like visceral you. What? How does a rat have better range than me? That should have been a visceral if I ever saw it myself. God, these guys are frustrating. If you could see the health bar right now, I mean, you you would know. You would know. I remember when I got knocked off by that spear guy the first time I played this area and uh, I just got swarmed by rats. I was like, that's it. I'm done. I'm never playing this game again. Cut to like 80 hours later and I'm like, all right, you know, I think I could probably deal with a couple more of these uh, scourge beasts and whatnot. Oh, God. I always have this issue where I just micro adjust and then screw it up for myself. So I'm sorry if this... Uh, is particularly painful for people. If you want to know pain, actually the first time I beat this game, and so far the only time, I did it while playing on a backbone phone accessory. Basically, it's remote play, but you have like this little piece of plastic that's kind of in the shape of an ambiguous controller, and it's kind of contingent on how good your internet is, but seriously, how am I this terrible? But basically, anybody who uses one of those controllers just urges everybody else to not even bother with, you know, using it for anything pertaining to timing because otherwise, ooh, that's good. Um, you're going to have trouble with like drops and whatnot. Keep it to strategy games, RPGs, just anything that you don't have to, you know, worry about disconnecting on. Oh, there is a guy here. I thought I could hear him freaking breathing. All right, let's see if we can maybe do this. Yeah, this guy also smoked me just you know, hanging out from afar. What are you thinking? Oh, come on, that should have been it. There we go. Third time's the charm. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh God, he's not dead. Oh my God. Don't fall down there. That's where all your friends are. Thank you. No, I need that. Damn it. All right. Uh, You definitely want to try to go for this and loot this man's clothes because uh, these can offer some pretty good upgrades in terms of defense. Now keep in mind, uh, there is no ultimate armor, but there are ones that will help your resistances to fire, bolt, slow poison, etc. And depending on what you're about to fight, you kind of want to focus on certain aspects of your clothing in order to help you know, tank at least one more hit because that can sometimes be the difference between dying and beating a boss you've been dying to over and over. And trust me, this has actually helped. If you look online, people will be like, oh, clothes don't matter, don't even worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, man, I don't know. There have been so many instances where the frenzy resistance along with, you know, the plus 200 rune just like saved my life. And it's insane. Can I actually get back out of here this way? I think I might have used like a bold hunter's mark the last time I was here. Because I don't want to go down there. Well, I want to go down there, you know, the correct way. <laughs> um, there are enemies there we can take out, but I just don't want to take care of too much of that. And that will lead us to the main boss of this area. Kind of like the first hurdle that new players will uh, experience. Is this? Oh, thank God. I thought it was a metal coffin. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I might just go around so I don't have to deal with these monsters over here. I probably should, though. Just run past them. Because I don't know how far they... Oh, my God. They follow me towards. They're both going to freaking get me, though. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Bye. Oh, shit. Mistakes were made. Oh, he didn't care. It was just a little... Oh, shit. He's on me. Okay, let's see. Nope. We're just gonna play the corner game. Oh my god, jeez it. No stamina. Nothing. Okay, are we gonna play the stairs game now? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, damn it. Get out of there. Okay, we'll take this. Jesus, dude. Thank God your friend didn't follow, because that would be real jerkish. Unless, okay, good. Okay, ready? Are you good? I'm good. Oh, fuck. 
I'm dead. I'm dead. Get out of here. Thank you. The double. All right, one more. Shit, you have like no health or no health done. Just cheesing, cheesing, <laughs> just like I do. Okay, okay. I think we're I think we're good for the boss. Because I would like to level up. I would feel much better about that. If I die, I will lose all of my uh, all of my blood echoes that I've accumulated up to this point, which is seven thousand. That's not good. Knowing my luck and just how I play, I, I tend to get reckless trying to get it back, and I usually die on my way to, you know, grab them. So that's not fun. Don't really enjoy that. This guy right here. Thank you. Okay, and then we're back into this room, so... We have one minor obstacle before actually fighting the boss. And as it turns out, it's another troll man. Bricky McBrickerson, as it were. And if I could... There we go. Take out a couple of your friends who really like to distract. Maybe I'll go and uh, let you in on a little secret here, bucko. Thank you. <laughs> bucko. Now for this guy to kick my ass. Like, absolutely. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So, let's take a quick check at health. We are set. And as far as things are concerned, let's go ahead and throw on an oil urn and the Molotov. And hope this works out for us. You know what? Just for the hell of it. That's uh, probably going to be too distracting. Whew. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have the arena of the Cleric Beast. This guy... Oh my god, is the greatest dodger of oil urns of all time. Get them nice and slathered up and toss those Molotovs. Listen out for the uh, parry sound because that will indicate that we can do a visceral attack. And throwing fire at them or otherwise doing a good amount of damage, we can just get some insane hit right here on his head. Yes. Ooh, phase one is more or less complete. And usually enemies will denote that by screaming out in frustration and then thrashing around. That's, ooh, that's a lot of damage. I think we'll be okay though. Here we go. Fire is especially effective against this guy. God damn. But you do want to be a little careful because uh, he's going to be a bit stronger. Camera's going to get stuck behind him. Okay. And just time and be patient. Be mindful of your stamina and try not to get hit by any big moves. Don't be afraid to use your blood vials because uh, you can play a little bit more carelessly that way unless you're doing that nonsense, getting caught on pillars and statues. Okay. God, this is hard to do while commentating. <laughs> we have, oh, there it is. Yes. This roll number two. All right, now. He's going to be in his final phase, the most aggressive part, and he is not going to be staggered nearly as easily. Just chest bump a couple of those, and there you have it. Our prey has been slaughtered. Hell yeah. Whew! Man, not being able to see their health bar along the bottom is absolutely terrifying, but typically bosses will have those three phases, and life is good. Now, this, I do believe it looks like you can like maybe go through here, and I'll talk about this shortcut later because this was actually cut from the game, and people suspect that they did so, so that when you entered this part of the world, uh, the boss didn't just jump down on you and you would miss out on some vital things, but um, I'm ready for some level ups. Let's do it. Beam me up, hunty. Never mind, I'm not gonna make that a thing. <laughs> oh, um, you're not a doll. <laughs> How are you? Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. 
and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. But now we can finally channel our well-earned blood echoes to raise our stats. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Absolutely. Let's see. Let's see. We can go up eight levels. That's great. For every consecutive level, you will need more and more blood echoes. So keep that in mind that they will be more expensive as the game goes on, which means you want to get the good stuff first. And generally, I do stick with strength, skill, and vitality. Keep in mind, endurance... Ah, I want to say I really focused on early on the first time I played, and it just does not really offer much in terms of, say, vitality. So we'll at least take some of that. I would like some strength. Skill will be good because this will help choose some weapons that I'll want to use later. Um, and for the last one, we're getting some pretty small returns right now, but it will help in the future. Yeah, I guess we can maybe do one of these. It'll increase your resistances as well as your physical defense, like, pretty nicely. So maybe I'll actually... Eh, we'll, we'll do this. Let's go ahead and echo up. And also, I completely forgot. Farewell, good hunter. Wait, I'll be with you in just May a moment. You find your worth in the waking world. Okay, thank you. First things first. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our thick cold blood. Go ahead and use that. Depending on what number is next to it will indicate how good it is. So cold blood do with the three in parentheses is better than one, obviously. So go ahead and use that too. I'm annoyed that I forgot to do this, but I never use these whenever I play like Souls games. I just don't think to, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? Can I even level up with these? So she doesn't say anything different when we do that. So I can get one more level up. I think I might as well, right? That would be somewhat wise. I was gonna say I can maybe buy some stuff, but I have plenty of blood echoes after, you know, perfect amount, so. Sure. Grab some more health, so I'm not so worried about it. And let's see what we can purchase down over here. Fellas. Okay, so, um, we have the Hunter Chief Emblem. Now, this is something that's completely optional, but you do have to fight a pretty hard boss to get behind this area, and I usually will buy it. I know 10,000 is kind of a lot, but I think it's just easier to have that area accessible so that we can level up and get better before fighting that optional boss. And we also have the Kirkhammer. This is pretty cool, and something that I struggled with when thinking about recording this game is showing off the weapons because there are so many different weapons that will completely and utterly change the way you play such as the Kirk Hammer which is actually really cool but um, you need to invest a lot of blood shards and blood echoes for it to scale with you throughout the game so it's a bit unfortunate um, and we have the repeating pistol that's pretty cool don't really like it though uh, we have some Yarnum Hunter stuff which you can use to really just change your aesthetics. And again, most people will use it just to change how they look and they don't take resistances into consideration, but that's all right. Oh, and the hand lantern. I actually really like that one. Um, eventually we can buy oil urns. I'm just kind of bummed that we use both of them, but uh, I think we're fine. Unless, unless, oh uh, yeah, nothing really to sell, but People will also just sell all of their expensive clothes, and that's how they get their level ups and such. That's fine. Oh, and we have gifts. This doesn't happen very often. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. And silencing blank and such forms of cooperation. So you can summon people to help, or you can make them go away with the silencing blank. You can only use them online. Kind of goes without saying. Over here, we have the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters I don't say this will allow us to summon AI buddies to help during bosses and generally I do enjoy that so I might be using some insight here and there on that accord but the stuff that you can buy with insight not usually all that great so we got one insight for fighting the boss but we also earned three for defeating it and hence we have four the more insight you have 
the harder the game gets. You'll start seeing more enemies who have, you know, weirder and harder moves and uh, not really a big fan of having a whole lot of insight, but you are going to kind of want a lot of it. Now, we'll go ahead and buy the small resonant bell just so that we can help our friends or we can fight them just in case this is something we decide to do later. There we go. Make the game a little easier for ourselves. And I don't think you say anything different. Sometimes he will offer new tidbits of wisdom, but this was yeah, it's not going to happen here. No, don't talk to me about the doll. Don't show me on the doll where you touched her. Um, and shoot, we just needed one more and then we could have leveled up. That's fine. That's a-okay. Uh, as far as this is concerned, I might want to find more blood vials soon. I'll take these though. And I think we're set. Do we have time for anything else? We have a little bit of time, I suppose. We should maybe just go ahead and uh, unlock a nice little shortcut for us, or maybe just even explore that building. We'll see. We'll uh, make the most of our time with what we can. Let's just uh, make our way back, and it's not too far from where we currently are, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get some all of that going. If you would like to enlist me, sir. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's not going to come over in this direction. Okay, I guess you'll leave your pets to... Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, my God. Jesus, this is why I don't like these guys. They just stun lock you into oblivion. Here, how about this? Ugh, shoot, I missed. Okay, uh, <laughs> stop it, please. You, sir, come this way, please. Oh, what? That wasn't it? Thank you. That was. Felt extremely late. Oh, man, those scourge beasts over there. They're going to be annoying, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so we'll go and take care of this guy. Just before he jumps down on us. <clears throat> nope. What is range? I lack it. Or at least depth perception. And we can actually go back to where we uh, spoke to that old lady by dropping down here. I left this here on purpose. It's very calculated to indicate, hey, this area should look very familiar. So that's where we fought the uh, two trolls just down there. And if we go this way, we can finally enter that building which has a fairly cool character in it that I would very much like to not have died. Oh my god! Jesus, where did you come from? I mean, I know where you came from. I just did not expect you to come to me so fast. <laughs> All right, silence. Okay, to the lightness we go. And make sure we don't miss anything. There are a ton of nooks and crannies where we just like to stow away hidden goodies. And I would very much like to grab as many of them as I can. So over here, somebody did a really bad job of hiding this broken bit of business over here. And we can actually go above and avoid most of the enemies in there. But let's go and take care of this guy and clear it out. On the stairs, of course. Being my luck. What are you thinking? Oh, come on. I'll take that trade. There we go. Nice. And... You're dead. Good. I was afraid he was going to get back up, get caught in the stairwell. Enemies do tend to get caught in the floor sometimes. Let me, let me see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Might want to be careful, though. Quiet. <laughs> and let's go this way. Is there anything over here? Nope. Just uh, really loud it sounds. Now, we head over here. And you'll notice that there is a hunter here waiting. And she goes by the name Eileen. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. There's those bold hunters, Mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Oh boy, that's a little concerning. Still lingering about. What's wrong? 
a hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're a little different from the beasts themselves. Oh, shake off cape. Beautiful. I think that's all she gives us, though. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. Indeed, like a dog must dog. So, in this game, we have gestures, and they will typically activate at random. And you can go and do, you know, various gestures to people, and you can swap them out for stuff, like uh, the one she gave us, the shake-off cape. So, there we go. Whew, that's cool, actually. I wonder if I had a cape, if it would actually do that. I can never get the motion controls to activate the way I want them to, but... Just a nice little way to uh, show your respects to uh, enemies that are hanging around. But, uh, dropping down here might be a bit of an issue because we can't go back the way we came. So, let's go and grab the items here. And we're going to have to cut a few down. And, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like the way it's just doing that. There we go. There, there is another one. Yeah, this, this place is a little scary. I do fall off these things pretty frequently, and I might just attribute that to my backbone <laughs> kind of sucking, but there we go. You take a step forward every time you do that, so let's see. Um, if I want to drop down here, there are going to be a couple of enemies. I probably should have waited to use my uh, oof health to do it. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, what? Oh, I went right through them. That happens so often. Please don't. Please don't. Thank you. Now I'm getting shot at. Is there someone behind me? What is... What is why is there like screaming? Are you okay? Do you need me to call your mom? Like, I'm sorry. Alright, you know what? Stop that. You whoosh! And I missed. Point blank. Yeah, some of the aiming is a little wonky sometimes. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, unfortunately, there are a couple of, uh, rats down there, which I really don't want to deal with. This guy especially. Okay, okay. You know what? We can take him. We're fine. Although, I wonder, can I get the, can I get the back attack? He's just kind of, like, going back and forth here. So maybe if I just time it just right as he's turning around, get that sweet visceral, you know? I do like, you know, giving them back shots. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I think we did it. Oh shit, I ran too fast! I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. Do you have a bloodstone shard? Oh, it's blood vials. Damn. Okay. Well, uh, we could either go up here, which we actually should, I think. This would be a good idea. Take care of the guys up here. Maybe make a way back. Oh shit. This guy. Don't you. Oh my god. He sees me. Alright, I'm going back over here. I don't like being ganged up on to start with. That was not even close. Oh, I betrayed. Ugh. Didn't miss you this time. And you're still shooting at me because you know I'm here. Come on, one more. Let's see it. There you go. Okay. Now, they are pretty predictable in their shooting patterns, and if they can't see you, like, exactly, you might be fine. Okay. God, there's a lot of things over here. I just want to grab them all, you know? Although, I do think there's going to be a few surprises jumping out from some of these crates. Namely, those damn carry-on crows. <laughs> They're not, uh, you know, checked-in crows. They're carry-on. Get it? I'm just stupid. Absolutely dumb. <laughs> oh, here they are. Yeah, these guys like to drop down from above if you're not too careful, so. Hello. Good to see you. What this? <laughs> not even close. Not even close, man. There you go. Preesh. Oh, and there's one more over here. I thought you had me figured out now, didn't you? Not today. Okay. So, back over there, where the light is hitting it really weird, 
That is where we got the hunter's garb. Just clear over there. And uh, you can definitely survive from over there. I just would avoid those corpses because uh, they kind of like to gang up on you and they're a little, a little beefy. There are more of you? Where in the hell, man? All right, this is fine. This is okay. We'll deal with this the old fashioned way. Hello? Anyone? No, good. More oil urns, good. I love my oil. This is my milkshake. Okay, so I don't want to drop down there for obvious reasons. There will be uh, rats. But this, ooh, this is a good shortcut. We're gonna have to go that way eventually. And I'm actually gonna double back and drop down because I think that's the only way that I can actually get the items over there. It's from dropping back down in that room. Which is a bit of a shame, but you do see your fair bit of uh, backtracking in this game, honestly. But uh, yeah, I hope this doesn't turn out to be the most boring project in the world because uh, it's actually pretty nerve-wracking to record, actually. I made a couple of practice recordings and I just... <laughs> It's, it gets rough sometimes. So what I would like to do is not fight three enemies at once, if at all possible. I think I want that item right there. And we can only drop down on one side first. So let me try this one. Hope this works out for us. Cool. If I can sneak up on a group of rats, that'd be fun. I hope I could like kill them in like a single hit too. Nope, not quite. That's not good. All right, this one must have a couple in it, right? Oh shit, they're cognizant, they're aware. They've got dueling animations, double jeopardy. Where's our third one in there? You guys have a little throuple going on? Look at those little animations, those little sniffers. They smell the blood on me or their brother's convulsing corpse. I don't like to go in there. I don't want to go to there, shit. Well, I don't normally do this. Let's see, I'm okay on health, but let's go ahead and throw the Molotov at at least one of them. <laughs> Come on, oh my God, it's so delayed. Yeah, throwing things, not very good. Oh my God, Just leave me be, you diseased rat. Oh my God. Oh, there was only two of them, good. I was convinced there would be three because there's three in that other one. All right, ooh, there we go. There's our upgrade. Uh, can I do this? That rat looks a little big. Frag out! Okay, that's fine. We're good. I could also use a uh, throwing knife. These are pretty good in situations like this where possibly might find myself at odds with a rat. Here, we'll do this though. You didn't see me. I only got grazed. Oh, there's Madman's knowledge and throwing knives. It's like he was reading my mind. Yeah, we'll have to double back and grab the other side there, but I think that's okay. We're kind of making our way back to a shortcut right now anyway, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now we're down here. That's fine and all, but I guess I can go and grab this now, or I can just double back real quick and not worry about it. I sometimes forget that <laughs> there's a strategy to these things. It's probably not even that great of a reward is the thing. Actually, you know what? I might want this. I want to write that down. Oh shit. Oh, really? Really? Okay, I'll deal with you later, I guess. This, I think, is what I want. Hello? Okay, I am. Flame on! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The saw spear. Excellent. Not to be confused with the saw cleaver. A distinction needs to be made because this is more akin to finding an Abra rather than, you know, having your run of the mill Bulbasaur. But um, it's a fairly strong early game weapon, especially in your second slot if you're still not sure how you want your playstyle to be. With its serrated edges, you can actually do a fair amount of damage close range, but where this really shines, especially when other people use it, is in its tricked out form. You get range, you get power, 
and you get the ability to use your gun and also, of course, death from above. Nice. Oh my god. I couldn't tell if it was the boots or the blade that killed the rat. That's kind of funny. But since we don't have it leveled up, it's probably not really in our best interest to hold on to it unless we decide we want to throw a couple of bloodstones its way. We'll see, but um, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep that there for the time being. It doesn't really behoove anybody to alternate between weapons unless they're both of you know very significantly different play styles. I guess I don't know. Well, let's go and grab this. Hopefully, I do not miss because we're not playing on the backbone. Come on, Mr. Cruz. Yeah, first try, baby. Now, the enemies over here are gonna be a pain in the ass. So, uh, do I dare take them out, or do we wait until next time? Yeah, that's that is a whole ass thing. You know what? Let's activate the shortcut and probably call it here because we're probably gonna fight the first required boss in the next episode already. That's right. The father is coming to town. But this will take us... Huh? Where? Oh, I'm over here. Okay, that makes more sense. Just don't recognize it is all. Alright. What are you thinking? Ooh, there we go. Got your little feet. Little crow's feet. You oldies. There we go. I do want to be a bit careful, though, because... Uh, yep. There's another Bricky McBrickerson doing his business. Or maybe he's not. How much health do I have? We're good. We're good. That is where I want to go. Okay. <laughs> Sir, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, incredible. Shining coins again. That's like a rare drop. Okay, I can speak to her and there is the source of that music box that I made note of before. And it's right over here. This is extremely easy to miss. But we have a shortcut that is now available to us. There we go. And life is good. Perfect. The world's slowest moving opening gate. Thank you. Now, are these fine? No, they're not dead. They are not dead. I just wanted to run past everybody. When did I go into the hunter's dream? Oh shit, that guy's back then. He has to be. Shit. So this guy, when he's done throwing his tantrum, he's gonna turn around and mess me up, so I have to take him out. I just wanna run across the bridge. Ugh. Thank you for at least allowing me that. Oh, <laughs> That's where it really sucks being right-handed, doesn't it? Shoot. Okay, well let's just go this way. I'll spawn on the bridge next time, but we really should go and uh, drop off our stuff. Oof. Yeah, because we were definitely here. I'm leaving. I'm going. Don't worry about it. We'll skip the uh, trolls over there for the time being. I might go off screen and just like grind a couple more bloodstones because I did whoosh, use quite a few of them. Please don't, please don't turn around and kill me. Because this guy, he doesn't really do anything until you provoke him. But he is a good source of Quicksilver, so... Thank you! Yeah, there we go. Things are kind of looking good here, so... Sir? Oh my god. Anytime I lose sight of them and my auto-aim turns off... Or not my auto-aim, just my, you know, targeting in general. It's a bummer, man, but... Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for our time here in Bloodborne. Next time, we will awaken into the Hunter's Dream, level up, get some upgrades, and then explore the rest of the sewer area, which we have now unlocked via shortcuts. So, take care, hope you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you guys next time.